Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered somatic function, or pain, as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll just review some of the basics about pain. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one, which of the following terms refers to pain that is perceived in a missing limb? And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is B, phantom pain. Phantom pain is the perception of pain or other sensation like itching or tingling after amputation or the loss of a limb. Question number two, pain tolerance is the level at which the body initially perceives a stimulus as being painful. And this one is B, false. Pain tolerance is the ability to cope with pain, while pain threshold is the level of stimulation required to elicit a pain response. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about pain tolerance and pain threshold in the next question. So question number three is a nurse notices that a patient is demonstrating signs of being in pain. This includes grimacing, guarding, and groaning. When asked, the patient states that he feels zero out of 10 pain on the numeric pain scale. The nurse understands that blank can be heavily affected by culture. And the answer here is B, pain tolerance. Pain tolerance is the ability to cope with pain and is a subjective feeling, which can be affected by culture. Pain threshold, however, is the level of stimulation required to elicit a pain response, like we said earlier, and is usually similar amongst most people. Question number four, pain that is perceived due to direct damage of nerves is called... And the answer here is A, neuropathic pain. Neuropathic pain is a sensation felt from direct neural damage, including nerve compression or partial severance of nerves. And question number five, nociceptors are activated in which of the following events? And this one is D, signal transduction. Signal transduction is the activation of nociceptors from tissue damaging stimuli and is the first step in sensing pain. It's always a good idea to review the pain pathway before your test. Moving on to question number six, myelinated nerve fibers send information blank. And the answer here is B, faster than unmyelinated nerve fibers. If a nerve is myelinated, then the signal can be transmitted faster than unmyelinated fibers by allowing action potentials to jump to the next neuron at a faster speed. Question number seven, which of the following terms refers to the area of the brain that helps recognize pain, temperature, or a light touch? And the correct answer here is D, the primary somatosensory area. And question number eight, which of the following lists correctly orders the steps involved in a reflex arc? And the answer here is A, starting at a receptor, sending information through a sensory neuron to an interneuron, bringing that information through a motor neuron, and then to an effector. Question number nine, reflex arcs require our brain to process and think about all external stimulus before our body can react. And this one is B, false. Reflex arcs involve sensory and motor neurons that synapse at the spinal cord, or interneurons, and do not require integration from the brain before our body can react. This is really important because say for example, you touch something that's really hot by accident, you wouldn't want your brain to have to think about that information, you want your hand to pull back immediately, and that is done through reflex arcs. And for the last question of this quiz, number 10. As a nurse, it is important to understand that pain is perceived similarly by all patients, and that it is part of your job to determine if a patient is experiencing meaningful pain. And the answer here is B, false. Pain is not perceived similarly by all patients. Although it is true that a part of the job of a nurse is to understand objective signs of pain, 
Pain is a subjective feeling, and is therefore assumed to be as real as a patient describes it to be. And that's it for our pain quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.